the Dugong. Indisputably the most populous ship you'll find beneath the waves of Europa, the Dugon is a common sight both in the dockyard and cleaved in two at the bottom of the sea. Its popularity is in no way shaped by its performance, but by its inexpensive design. The Dugon stands amongst the first locally designed submersibles, created to replace larger but less durable designs such as the Volamo in the decades immediately following the Coalition's formation beneath the European surface. While records are sparse, most believe it to have been designed sometime in the late 2050s, but the Dugon wouldn't enter full-scale commercial production until the 2100s. Measuring 34 meters in length, with a minimum recommended crew of three, the Dugon is the smallest full-size submersible available from the Coalition dockyards. This is reflected in its mediocre cargo capacity of eight standard containers and a complete lack of any onboard utility system such as deconstructors or fabricators. Traveling at a top speed of 22 km per hour and with a maximum descent velocity of 12 km per hour, the speed of the Dugon is certainly amongst its few solid positives when paired with its small profile. This already swift and maneuverable baseline increases dramatically with any upgrades to the engine's power, output, or fuel efficiency. The Dugon's reactor is passable for its size and equipment complement. The lack of manufacturing facilities means that its 3000 kilowatt reactor is able to handily fulfill the needs of its engines and weaponry, but can suffer brownouts with extended engagements due to a lack of battery support. Continuing its trend of underperformance, the standard Dugon variant is equipped with two coil guns mounted at the upper rear and lower hull of the vessel, with only an electrical discharge coil for frontal defense. Though there is an additional hardpoint located in the same location as the discharge coil, if the crew can afford to mount additional armament. As one of the first European manufactured submersibles, the Dugon was simultaneously a design bred for necessity and as a proof of concept for its critical systems. In its initial testing phases, almost every component, from the reactor to the sonar arrays, were designed from the ground up. This means that the Dugon's low production cost of 6,000 marks comes at the price of not doing anything particularly well. It is this mere 6,000 mark price point that means that the Dugon is an ideal submarine for three kinds of mariners on Europa. Rookie crews will often swear by its simplistic, easy to understand design as a saving grace to untrained mariners seeking to get their feet wet before moving on to larger submersibles as their skills improve. Veteran captains who survive the loss of their vessels often purchase it as well, as they're confident their abilities can make the vessel last long enough to purchase something more befitting to the task at hand. Finally, and more unfortunately, the Dugon's low cost and relatively high speed make it a favorite of pirates and separatists who seek to function outside coalition-controlled stations, as the vessel's popularity makes scavenging replacement parts a near guaranteed affair in shallower waters. Despite its underperformance when compared to other submersibles, the Dugon will always have a place in Europa's waters, perhaps not as a shining example of the power of coalition engineering, but as the solid and relatively inexpensive legs that hold up the rest of the coalition's navy and ensure greener crews live long enough to be up to the task of manning mightier vessels. <laughs>